Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, let's see the basics of what pre multiplication is. Let me add a checkerboard for this and a constant. I'm just gonna keep this black. So let me change this to alpha. So what I'll be doing is I'll be adding a radial node. So if I connect this to viewer, you could see the white area has a value which you can see in this place. So the black area is zero and the white area has a value which means uh, the black areas has an alpha of zero values and the total uh, white areas has a value of one and uh, these edges areas are transparent which has a value in between zero and one so let us see how this pre-multiplication works so for example i'll be using a merge node so currently now it has an over operation enabled i'll be changing this to multiply as this node has an alpha i'll, I'll be connecting this to a pipe and uh, the checkerboard to b pipe so if i do check in the viewer you can see the checkerboard inside this white area so the reason is so anything which here reflecting is black it is taking as a zero of the alpha anything which is one it is taking as the alpha value as one so the sides here are taking this as transparent so if i decrease the softness in here you can clearly see the alpha values are changing so this is a small explanation of how this multiplication works let us take a slightly complex example and understand how this pre-multiplication works so guys i do have this alpha image so as you could see the alpha is in the red channel because if you do uh, write the image for the alpha uh, it goes to the red channel by default because uh, in rgb red is the first channel and that is why the alpha goes to the red channel so what i'll be doing is i'll be using this node for alpha i'll be using this image for rgb this is a 1080 image and this image is not 1080 so i'll be using a reformat node to change this to 1080 and i'll be using a shuffle copy node to mix the channels so i'll use this pipe 1 for alpha and this pipe 2 for rgb so you could see not much has changed so the reason is because in the shuffle copy node so we could see the alpha channel is going to alpha but we can see the alpha is in the red channel so what we have to do is we have to switch it to red channel in order to make things work i will be merging it with the constant node just for demonstration so as this is going to be background i'll be connecting this to b and this is going to be foreground i'll be connecting this to a now we can see that the merge operation has been done and uh, we can uh, quite see that so this constant image and this image has been mixed and uh, we do get something like this the reason is because the alpha is there but there is no pre-multiplication enabled for this image so that is why we are getting results something like this so we could just go into this merge node and click this as mat and call it a day but uh, to explain this pre-multiplication concept i'll be adding this pre mult node so that the background image in this node disappears so guys uh, now the pre-multiplication is done so but there is a problem which is for example if i try to add a grade node and uh, if i increase the value you can see that so the merge operation has not yet happened but still so the offset value is affecting to the entire image and not just the alpha so the reason is because of the transparency present in this alpha so which uh, we can see here at the edges which, which is something similar to what we saw in the previous example here this transparency so in order to overcome this uh, situation something like this what we have to do is 
we have to unpre multiply this image and uh, then pre multiply this so it doesn't mean that we have to uh, remove this pre multiplication this has to be there so what i will do is i will add a unpre mult node and after this grid i will add a pre mult node if i do change the offset it only affects the foreground and uh, not the background you can think that uh, we can just uh, remove this pre multiplication and uh, use this unpre mult and uh, pre mult if we give an unpre mult node without this pre multiplication what happens is we can see this white effect appearing in this image so the reason is so this doesn't have a pre multiplication we did manually give a pre multiplication in this example so that is why we have to unpre mult it and then pre mult this in order to make this pipeline work so guys you have to remember this concept every time you work on these nodes but you don't have to apply this every time you work so the reason is because uh, let's say i use a grade node and uh, i will give the exact value as what i am giving here also in this grade node so if we connect it we could see the same problem as what we saw before which we overcome by using these nodes instead of using these nodes if we go into the grid properties there is an option called as unpre mult by so if we select this option to alpha so this does the same as what these nodes has done so instead of using these nodes we could just select this unpre mult option and uh, work things out so just to explain the concept i have went with this method hope you guys understood the concept of pre multiplication and unpre multiplication in new so that's all for this video if you did understand please do like and subscribe to my channel